Okay, you're gonna need some tool. I'm using the leftover pieces from my last tutu. Uh, you don't have to waste anything, so hold on to all your scraps. You can also buy the tool in the six inch round rolls. Uh, that's the same thing as just cutting it up yourself. You need something to cut with. I'm gonna use my roller cutter, a ruler, and some headband elastic. I'm using this one here that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's the 2.5 inch headband material. You're gonna need something to wrap that around with. So you're gonna have to wrap the elastic around something so that you can run the um, tool around it. And I, like I mentioned before in a video that I have this pickle jar, or you can use a paper towel holder, whatever you have. Let's get started. So we're gonna make a no-sew tutu that fits a zero to 12 month old, old baby. Now, uh, like I mentioned before, I'm using the scrap, scraps from my previous video, so I'm making a smaller one just so that I can make sure I have the correct uh, length. Now, a zero to 12 month old will require it to be a six inch length tutu. So we need to cut 12 inches and fold that in a half to give us our six inches. So I have my um, scrap piece of fabric here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the edge here. I have a six year old and a one year old playing in the background. So you might hear them while I'm getting this video done. Okay, now I'm gonna count six inches over because I don't have the actual rolls of tool. I'm gonna actually have to cut the length, I mean the width of the uh, tool. But it's a lot easier if you have those rolls. You don't have to, to do it this way if you're doing it off the bolt. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six inches across. Now. Let me see if this one will make another six inches. This is only one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, this will be okay. You see how the edges here are a little um, out of line? It's okay because when we put them in the waistband, they're gonna crunch up together like this, so it's not. It doesn't have to be, you know, exactly six inches if you're using a bolt of tool and you don't want to throw away your scraps. Okay, now we need to get 12 inches in length because again, when we fold that in half, that's gonna give us our six inch tutu. So I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna cut off this edge here. Because we want individual pieces. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here we go. 12 inches across. Double check that before you cut. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oops. Okay. Here's our 12 inches. And when we put it together, that's going to be our 6 inch length. There's 12 inches. And you can see, let's see if you can here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have your six. Yeah, so we have 12 inches. So here we go. This is going to be my 12 inches. I'm going to get a shorter one. Okay. I'm going to cut my 12 inches. Okay. Here's my 12 inches. And I mentioned before my roller cutter is not in the best of condition. I got it. Another one from the dollar store because I wanted to show you all that it really does um, work really well. So you don't have to buy expensive ones. But Okay, 
I want to add peach to this tutu so I have the bolt here and I wanted to show you if you have the bolt how you would want to cut it out so you just roll out a piece I'm just gonna roll out a good chunk here hope you can see that right. and I'm gonna cut it let me get my scissors I'm gonna cut it because it's my table isn't wide enough, so it's gonna run off the edge there. So I'm just gonna do this here and then cut it all the way down. And it doesn't have to be a perfect cut. In the tutu world, you don't really need to have perfect cuts because you can always hide it or fix it when everything is said and done. Okay, let me put that aside. Now, this is the folded edge right here. You see that? Okay, got a piece of tool on it. And then I'm just going to fold it. Line it up. And then I'm fold it again. You okay over there? Yeah. I know, baby. I'm, I'm recording. Hold on. All right, once we have it all folded, try to get it aligned at the edge here the best you can. We're going to cut that off, but you know, you don't want to be wasteful with your fabric. All right, now I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting from, because I'm using such a long piece, I'm gonna start cutting from the edge across. And I'm not gonna use a ruler or anything, I'm just gonna, cut it just so you can see different techniques okay. All right. so I'm gonna go six across two four six All right. I'm gonna do a couple pieces so you can see it two four six I really have to put pressure on this thing so to try to not get it to catch. Okay, we'll do six again. All right, we'll continue to do that all the way across till you come to the end. Okay, all the way across, six, 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 six. Then you get these pieces and we want 12 inches, so. Let's just line up 12 inches okay. and cut. Now that my tape, my mat is a little off the table. That's why it ran like that. Let me just cut that again. And then another 12. I mean another cut here. Uh oh, little man's on the run. All my pieces cut. Now I'm gonna lay out I'll put them on the side here in the order I want to grab them. It just makes it easier for me when I'm actually getting to putting it together. So I'm going to do blue, purple, let's see, pink, peach, yellow, and green. All right. Now let me grab what I'm going to use to wrap. Or the, let me grab the elastic. Hold on. Okay, you wanna get your elastic. Okay, let me lift the camera a little bit here. All right, and we need a 13 inch waist. 
So you'll measure out your 13 inches, right? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen's here. And you will cut it. Then you want to either hand sew or zigzag or use a serger, whatever you want to use to close the edge here. All right, I personally prefer hand sewing, but I did do this one and I actually used my zigzag stitch on my machine. So now we have our waistband that's gonna stretch out nicely. And you want to use your pickle hold, pickle jar, anything round, anything cylinder, I mean. Your paper towel holder. This is a super roll, so you probably want to use a smaller one because that'll really stretch out your elastic to put it around. But you just put it around like so. Put that down there. Straighten it out. All the way around, right? Then what you're going to do is you'll start looping your uh, tool through these little uh, holes here. But like I said, this one is too big. I'm just going to use my little pickle jar. I wouldn't use a mega roll. <laughs> I'd use a smaller one. Okay, but honestly, these little small pickle jars work incredible. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to, let me see here. See these little, these little um, dots here? These are what we're going to wrap the tool around. Okay, now don't wrap them in these little lines. Let me see here. These, these little lines here, you'll see these real thick pieces and then you'll see these in between little lines. You don't want to use those. You want to use the thick pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, let me get this stuff out of the way. We're going to get a piece of tool, okay? A piece of your tool, and you want to just fold it in half, right? Just like so. Get it and fold it in half. Okay, now we're going to get the top piece here. You have it like that. Just kind of loop it around your finger, pinch it at the edge. You want to pick one of these holes. I start from the bottom up. Remember, don't use these little flimsy ones at the bottom right here. A flimsy one. Use the big one. So go right above that flimsy one. Stick your tool through that hole, okay? And then you're gonna open it up. You're gonna pull it through. And tighten it up, okay? You're gonna get a piece of your tool. Grab my blue one, because that's what I'm starting with. And you're going to get the top, stretch it out, fold it in half, right? Yep, fold it in half there. And you have this little piece here, okay? Put it around your finger, makes it easier. Pinch it down here at the bottom because you're gonna need that little hoop. Get your elastic band. And remember, do not use this flimsy one here on the bottom. This little flimsy one right here. Is it right here, the flimsy ones. You want these sturdy ones. So when it comes to the flimsy ones, you wanna use the one right above it, okay? So I'm gonna go right above it. And I'm gonna put my tool through it, down the bottom, 
and you want to get the two pieces and run them through inside and pull. You should have something like that. Okay, let's do another one. Blue, another piece of blue. Okay, put this aside just so you can see it again. All right, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna pull it, fold it in half. Okay. Put it on our finger. Get a little hoop going on. Oops, okay. And then we're gonna go right above that circle into the st sturdy one, okay? I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna put it in through bottom, going downward, all right? Pull it through the top. Get our material and pull it through. Make sure you catch the hoop, pull it through. And pull. Now, if you find as you go along that these are getting uneven at the very end when we're uh, fluffing out our tutu, we can also cut it to align it if these were not even. So don't worry about that, All right? Here we go. We have one. Now we have two. Okay, grab another piece. It in half. Get our little hoop there. Little hoop. We're going to go from top. Can you see that? I don't think you can let me. Okay. We're going to go. Well, doing this and trying to film can be difficult sometimes. Okay, we have it folded in half. I'm making a mess over here on the side, so let me just shift that over. Okay. Hoop, pinch it, grab your elastic, all right? We're going to the next hoop. I mean, a solid stitch right there, right above it, right there, okay? We're gonna go from the top through to the bottom. Pull it through. You have your little hole here. Get your elastic. Pull it through. Okay. And then just stretch it down. There we go. Okay, let's do another one. Alrighty. Piece of tool. Get it, fold it in half, pinch it. We're at the very top here now, last one. Some people won't go as high because it could make, um, uh, put a lot of weight on it, but this is a small one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So we're gonna go down. See that? Okay. Go in the back, pull it through. Got our little circle, like so. You see that little circle, little circle, and pull your elastic, I mean, your tool through. Okay, and just pull it. There we go, we're down one row. You see that? We got one row of four done. Now we have to do it all the way around. Let's do our next color. So our next one, we're gonna run through. I always skip a row. Make sure, let me lift my camera and shift it. Okay. I will always skip a row. I'm not gonna put it in here. I'm gonna go to the next row. You're gonna have so much tool you know, wrapped into all of these little holes that it's gonna create a lot of weight for the tutu and it can create the waistband to be so heavy that it's just wide instead of uh, smaller to where you can stretch it. It'll just be 
like that and you can stretch it just a little bit and you don't want that. So I'm gonna skip a row and then I'm gonna put it in this row here. There's um, some people who will do every single row, but for my purpose, I'm gonna skip a row and I'm gonna put it in here. Get my purple. Let's put it in half. And honestly, there's just so much. Like I said, that you don't need to put it in every single row. Okay. We're gonna go, see here's the little flimsy one. Here's the sturdy one and here's the flimsy one. So we're gonna encompass that flimsy one right down here with this sturdy hole. So go on top of this hole right here, go in and under. So we're gonna go, there's the, where's the little flimsy one? There it is. So I'm gonna go on the top of that sturdy hole, put it through. I'm gonna open up my little circle, my little hoop, pull it through. I'll like pull my fingers through and then I'll just pull. A little tug, nothing too tight, you're done. Next one. Okay, here we go. In half here, let's put it through. Go into this hole now, right here, right, right above that one. So on top of it, you go through on top and under. So we're gonna go in and under. When it's facing you, it's gonna be a whole lot easier than me trying to struggle and put it through. Okay, put it through that little hole. Open up your little hole there, your little loop. Put your fingers in, open up that hole. And then a little tug. There we go. Put it in half. Take it through the next hole. There's our next hole right here. And we're gonna go over the top of it. Go in, pull it through. Go under, bring it under. Under that hole, down there. Pull it through. Open up your little loop. This one kind of, you noticed here, this one kind of got uneven. So this one is a little uneven and you wanna fix that before you pull it through. Now, if you don't, there's gonna be so much tool in it, it's really not gonna show, but I will. So I'm gonna pull over here on this bottom piece to even it out. Okay, now I have it together, put my fingers through. I feel like camera's not capturing everything for you. Okay, there we go. It's even again, pull it through, and just a little tug. Another one. Okay, and then half. A little hole here, a little loop. We're at the very top now. We're gonna go in over the top. Bring it down the bottom. Open up your little hoop, your little loop there. And, oops, again, it got out of, I pulled it out of sorts. Okay. You may see there and pulled it uneven again. It's okay, I'm just gonna pull a little bit to even it out. All right, there we go. Now it should be even there. And I'm going to pull it through the hoop. All right, we're down another row. And you see, there's so much going on here. Skipping that one row is not gonna make a difference when you have all that tool and it's all fluffed out. You're not even gonna be able to tell that you missed that because we still need to do all of this. Okay, do the next color, uh, pink. Skip a row. Here we go to the next one right here. It's gonna have that little small loop in it. This little flimsy one. That one you have to encompass with this top big hoop. 
All right. There we go. There you go, and get it. And I'm going to include it. Remember, I'm skipping a row. And there it is. And I'm going to go on top of the big one and open up my little circle down here, my little loop. And I'm going to pull it through. Pull it down and pull it through. I'm get a pink one. In half. Go right above that into this one. I'll go through the top one here to loop under there. Okay. Going through the top. Pull out the bottom. Pull out the tool. Open your little loop. Pull it through. And give it a tug. Okay. Next one. This one right here, right here. Go on top of that, down. Pull it through. You have it pulled through. Push this up to the top here. Open up your little loop. Put your fingers in it. Bring it down, pull it through. And this will be the last one. After this, I'm going to hit the ground running. And I'll come back with the complete tutu as I finish it up. And I want to make this video short because I want to show you how to make a quick and easy top that will go nicely with this tutu. Okay, the last one here. Or this one right, here, right there. Right there. So I'm going to go in through the top. Back there. Pull it through. Open up your little hoop. And pull it through. There you go. Just a little tuck. And you can do all your primping and everything at the end. Right now, we're just getting everything done. See that? Can't even tell that I've missed, I've been skipping one. Okay. In between here. You cannot tell here. See that? And look at all that material we already have can't wait till you see the whole thing all right i'm gonna do the rest of this and i'm gonna alternate my colors and remember uh you can either fill in this line right next to it i think it adds too much weight but i am going to skip it and i'm going to put in my next row here it's four four for every row i'm going to skip one i'm gonna put four i'm gonna skip one i'm gonna put four I'm going to skip one. I'm going to put four. Okay? All right. Is when I came up to the end here, when I was, because um, you never know how many holes your elastic is going to have around it, uh, depending on, you know, how you cut it and sew it. So right here was where my pattern started, my uh, pattern started ending. So if you notice here, I have the um, peach, pink, purple, should be blue. And instead... Uh, because I knew I was coming to the end, I just included another purple and pink. But no one's going to notice. There's so much, uh, so many different colors going on here. So if you notice, when you pull the tool, sometimes if you pull too hard, it gets a little long and uneven. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off of here. All right. How nice that looks on the inside too. Okay, what we're, hey, settle down down there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to lay it flat. Flat on your surface here. Just run your fingers through it down. All right, all done. Now you can just take your fingers. You see how nice that is? You can take your fingers. Let me just give you a good look at the side. Okay, there we go. It's nice and flat. 
and you see all these long edges right here, we're gonna press it down and we're gonna cut evenly all the way along, going from your shortest point all the way around the tutu. All right. I just love these colors. Here's my shorter point here. You can see here this, so I'm gonna use this as my guide to go all the way around. Okay. Get it, press it down. Get your scissors and just cut along there. See here, even it out. As you go. Okay, I think that that is even enough. Now we want to get it on uh, the mannequin or whatever you want to put it on and we want to fluff it out. You're just gonna fluff it out by going like this. Can you see that? No, you can't, I can't see it. Okay, here we go. Just run your fingers up. It's gonna make it nice and fluffy and you want to do the same thing. Pull out, bring it down, just fluff it up. So I'm gonna finish fluffing this on my mannequin and I'm going to get started with the shirt that I wanted to show you. Okay, let's get started on the top. It's gonna to be quick and easy. I'll be using the Jolie's Boutique Easy Image. I get these at Joann's and I wait for coupons. Like I've mentioned before, I wait for 60% off or 50% off and then I'll purchase them. I'll be putting uh, an image on a white shirt, so I'm going to use this uh, light paper. Now, the light paper does have a yellow line behind it because I'll be working on a white t-shirt. It also comes with a special paper so that you don't burn the fabric or the image. Now, I have printed it backwards you can't see it that way but you can see here that the image is backwards the way it's printed because when you print you have to print face down so you have to flip the image backwards so that when it comes up it will be the right side up. i have my cricut heat press next to me i think you heard it beep just a minute ago and i have my little white top here now i am going to make this for a 12 month old like I mentioned before, and I'm going to just give it a nice press with heat. I have it at 385 because I want to get all the moisture out of it. Okay, all right. Now I know the packet says certain temperatures when you're pressing, but I find that 385 when I'm using this material, uh, this type of printing material, that it helps the image take better to peel it off. All right, now I'm going to get a lint roller. I don't have one here, but let me, oh, here it is. My lint roller. Because you don't want any fibers that you're not seeing before you press that image because it will get stuck underneath and pressed on. Because technically what we're doing is pressing on a sticker, right? <laughs> okay, 
Now, uh, as you see, I did two. I maximized my printing paper, and because I'm going to do a 12 month old top, it only takes a, I only made a six by six image to fit. I will uh, link the image below. I got this image for free, so I am using it for my personal use. Um, uh, it was free on a website, and I'll also include the PDF uh, image for your reference. All right, now let me get the scissors because I need to cut it out. Now I find, technically if you wanted to, let's just say it was just the one image, you could just press it down. You don't have to do any cutting. But when you do that, you include the rest of the sheet of paper on there and it creates like a box. So what I do is I try to cut it out the best I can and come as close as I can to the image. See how I'm cutting along the image? All right, go around here. I'll be sure not to cut my other one. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll clean it up in just a minute. I just wanna get this extra one off. So in case I make another one, I already have it and I didn't waste my paper. All right. And just to go around the image some more. If you can see that. Sometimes I get to doing stuff and I forget that I'm recording and I want it to face you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, mm -hmm. oops, it's getting caught my scissors. All right. All right, let's get this piece out the way. I do want to cut off a little bit more inside here. You can cut right along it as well if you wanted to take the time to get it as close as I did down here. But I'm good here. A lot of people will use their Cricut to cut out, their Cricut cutter to cut out the designs. But I find this is just as easy and it comes out just as nice. Alrighty. Like I mentioned, my uh, Cricut is ready to print. It's at 385 degrees. Let me stand up here. And I am going to center this image. This is a six by six image on a 12 month old top. And as you can see, the colors go beautifully with what uh, our little tutu we just designed. Okay, center it. Get it centered. I always just eyeball it, but what you can do is get your ruler and you can measure it. So I take the furthest points. This is my furthest point here and this is my furthest point there. And I can see that it is two inches there and that it is two inches there. So I'm pretty good. I've done this enough to have a good eyeball. Okay, now we're gonna put our special paper and I'm going to set it at my Cricut press at 15 seconds. And here we go. Press it down. I'm gonna put pressure. We're going to wait for another seven seconds. Alrighty, let's take it off. Now, you want this to completely cool before you pull it. Okay. 
It's heated again. I turned it off after this last time. And I'm just going to give it a quick press down just to make sure everything is securely. What am I trying to say? Is uh, pressed completely down and smooth. All right, that's it. We are done. Give it a second. Don't pull this off right away because we don't have this paper in between anymore. So this paper is technically serving as um, the, the paper. So if you pull it off now, you could ruin the image. All right, that is cool to the touch. And the final lid. How beautiful is that little shirt to go with that beautiful tutu we just made. So all I have to do is put it on the mannequin for a final view. This came out absolutely beautiful. I hope you agree. If you have any questions, don't forget to list them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you for watching and I hope you like and subscribe. See you on my next video.